What's up? Sam. What's up in there? What's going on with you guys? Come here. Come here, Buster. What's up, buddy? What's up, Buster? Hi, buddy. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up, Pally? Booster. 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 What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Sam, come here. Come here, Sammy. Stay out of her way. Come here, Sammy. Buster. Come on, Sam. 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 What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, buddy? Yeah, flop it over. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Hello, Sam. Hello, Samster. Sammy. Sammy. Sam. All right. Oh, shit. I uh, have no reason to be on here right now, but I'll take that later. I guess I'm going hiking. So yesterday, too close. Yesterday, I had 22 years sober, and uh, it's interesting, you know, I post that on Twitter, primarily to inspire other people, and now you get, like, you get idiots who don't really understand the nature of the thing, uh, who say some shitty things, a lot of, mostly nice things, but, and then you get, like, these AA fascists. We're like, uh, and uh, anonymity is the key to the spiritual key to the foundation of it. Uh, 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 yeah. Tradition 11, yada, yada. Uh, anonymity press, radio, film. It's like, dude, people need to know what can be done. They can do it in AA. They can do it however they're going to do it. You have a better shot at reconfiguring your brain a bit around the nature of addiction if fuck where's my hat where's my hat where is it where is the hat one I don't really like these kind of hats I understand I understand the the bleeding deacon position 
But, uh, yeah, Cat Stevens found the hat. But, it's just not where, uh, it's not where I'm at, man. I like that there are people that, like, follow these old school rules to the old timey program that has about, like, I don't know, 20% success rate, but not unlike any other program. Addiction is going to fucking take you down if it's going to take you down one way or the other. Um, but the truth is, it's like, you know, it can get some people started. I'm not getting a melon. I'm going hiking. Look, I'm okay, man. Every day's a struggle. You know, I got up this morning and it was bleak. And then, like, you know, uh, you just eventually get into this habit, which I never thought I would get into, where, you know, you, you just wait, you just do the things. Do the things despite your head. I fucking stretched, had my coffee. And now I'm going to go do this fucking hike by myself, which is fine. I don't mind going myself. It's nice. I can go at my own pace, and, you know. But look, man, you know, shit is going down. How clear do you want to be, you know? Hold on. How does this work? Hold on. I got to tighten this thing or something, right? Is this it? Um, I, you know, I don't, I don't care if, you know, people want to drink and I don't care if people want to do drugs and, uh, and, you know, on some level it's up to them to kill themselves with it, but, you know, people should understand the nature of the thing. Anyway, my point being. Do I really want to hike? Not really. But the truth is, it's pretty cool out right now. And you know, it'll be good. It'll be good. Just kind of do the next right. Again, you were up against so much, man. This fucking virus is ridiculous. But there's this weird brain bending that's happening. It's, and I suffered from it too, where you know, there's just this like. You want to be in denial in a certain... Do I have my wallet? Do I have my ID that I can take with me in case I crap out? Um, the brain definitely wants to fucking be in denial. Mine does too. To the point where it's sort of like... I'm like, I'm not going to read that news story because uh, I'm okay today. I'm all right. I'm not... I don't need that information right now. Maybe someone can tell me later in a brief way. But I don't need to... I had to put a stop to that. I had to tell my news feed, no, no, not now, maybe not ever. I'm just going to have this day. But, uh, yeah, everything looks so fucking grim in this COVID situation. And then, like, you know, I've got to deal with these anti-vaxxers and people that have the, you know, the special information about... None of the special information goes a good place. Like, it's like, people should just take the hit. You know, we can shoulder millions dead, you know, to keep the species going. But uh, on some level, that's their point of view. I'm not saying that for myself. But on some level, fuck, man. Aren't uh, human-created problems going to require human-created solutions? Isn't that all we're doing now? Is troubling, is troubleshooting the plague we've unleashed on the world on almost every level. Human greed and unchecked fucking exploited desire, which is the political system of the world or the capitalism or what have you. <clears throat> Who knew that a free market wouldn't uh, 
level of awe. Who knew that if you didn't factor greed into the picture and start thinking about regulation and caring about the people that we'd be hurling through space on a malignant rock? Who knew? Everyone knew. But they were going to roll the dice. Some short-sighted bullshit. And now it's just sort of like, how do we troubleshoot this, uh... How do we troubleshoot the world being on fire? How do we troubleshoot Venice slowly going underwater? What are we going to do with no Florida? Well, that is actually a, uh... That's one of the few positives. Is that, uh... The, a submerged Florida on some level could only help. Yeah, there's no leveling off. It's going to be like, kind of, on any given day, it's, you know, how do you manage your panic and despair and, and push back as much as you can against the people that thrive on your panic and despair. People are still building homes, though. Everybody's just pushing ahead. You can't expect musicians to be, you know, geniuses. I mean, the, the thing is, is like, you, you know, outside of being disappointed in your favorite popular artists, for whatever reason, um, I mean, you only know them for one thing. You, you know, when you start to know people or they become public about, you know, how they feel about certain things and it's different than you, of course you're, you're disappointed because it's like... But you do that song I liked. You do such a sweet song, and, you know, it made me feel the feels, and you're a monster inside. I don't know, man. That's the problem with magic, isn't it? The practitioners, you know, rarely can be trusted. Magicians abound. It's up to you to decide how the magic lands. Yeah, there's the house. If I lived in that house, everything would be mystical. See, the connection's going to get shitty up here. But, um, anyways, I'm driving, so is this too close? I can't tell. Look at the, it's so pretty, the palm trees and the garbage cans, all in a row. Um, yeah, so... Godspeed through your day if you believe in that kind of stuff. I just feel like I'm going to lose my connection. Not just to you. Not just to the phone. To all of it. I'm going to pull over. Be safe. Um, there's probably people out. There's definitely people out. I mean, it's pretty early. You got your walkers. There's people out. Uh...